Welcome to another sample CKA test video. I'm an Azure Solutions Architect, an Azure Administrator, Azure Security Engineer, as well as a certified Kubernetes application developer. Sample test question 17, customization. I had a tough time with the skill level for this one. Uh, it was between medium and difficult. Uh, let me know. But we're going to go with medium. This question falls under the scheduling and tooling, in particular deployments. The sample question. Using Customize, create deployment for both the dev and prod environments. Both environments will have an HPA.yaml and a service YAML. The HPA YAML for dev will have a minimum replications of 1 and a max replica of 5 an average CPU of 50. Also, the service used for dev will be a cluster port. The HPA YAML file for prod will have a minimum replica of 1 and a max of 10, an average CPU of 70. This is a general structure of what the directory structure will look like for this, for this question. I will walk you through creating the directory structure. The actual YAML files are on my GitHub sites. You could just clone the files from my GitHub site, but I suggest you manually create and copy and paste the files as I do in this video for full understanding. Let's get started. Okay, first thing I like to do is just create the directory structure. Uh, I might suggest you take a print screen with a diagram and maybe print it out or put it on another screen or something. But uh, or just follow along. I guess we could do that. So I'm gonna make a directory called base, and then make a directory called overlays. Then go into overlays and make a directory called dev and make one called prod. All right, I'm going to come back out one and I'm going to go into base. And inside base, I'm going to create four files a deployment YAML, an HPA YAML. Customization YAML and a service YAML. And I'm going to use my GitHub site. All right, in my question 17 base, I'll go to deployment. And you want to copy this. And then deployment.yaml. You guessed it. Paste. And do a save. If you want to look at the file, go ahead. But we'll just base a deployment with Nginx on port 80. Then, of course, uh, just follow this process for each file listed here. So here's our HPA. And it's not making much sense right now. No worries. It, whoops. I don't know what I just did there, but let me start again. It'll start making sense here in about, I'd say five minutes, but definitely within 10 minutes. So just follow along with me, please. All right. And then we want. That should probably be customization. Let's see. Yes. We'll come back to that one. Go to the service YAML. And notice the question said port uh, 
cluster port. That's the default. But we want to change this to 80. So we can easily do that. Um, Service.html. I must say HTML. Last one is customization. I don't want that. Dot YAML. Notice it's just listing the resources. Uh, and we also need a, you know, that's fine. So this is really a part, an extension of the previous question, uh, 15. I skipped 16, question 16 for now. Vim and C-T-O-M-I-Z-A-T-I-N-Y-M-L. -I 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 All right, that looks correct. Okay, so now let's, one way to test this here, make sure YAML is all synth had the syntax correct is we're gonna run this now it should be rolling I think all right so notice that from one create command using K for customize we were able to deploy these three YAML files and that was basically uh, question 15 so now what we want to do is actually using our overlays, be able to have like a dev config and a prod config. Fig. So let's uh, bounce back here. All right, before I forget, I'm going to delete what I just created. All right, and then go to my overlays folder and to dev and create my own HPA YAML just for dev. So it's going to run my deployment.yaml, my services.yaml from base, but the HPA YAML from dev. All right, so let's create those files. So back to GitHub, dev, HPA, uh, raw, show a notice this one is one and two replicas, average CPU of 90. So then HPA.yaml. Very good there. And then we need to do customization. So now, if I run uh, won't be basically be overlays, right? And slash dev. Actually, let, let's go back to this uh, this one. Let's run this again. 
Oh, look where I'm at. Now, let's run this. You'll see where I'm going here in a second. All right, so that completed. Now the HPA is difference. So let's get a get kubectl describe. Uh, how about get HPA get horizontal. Oh, do I have autocomplete turned on? I don't think I do. Yeah, let me get that on. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Documentation, Kubernetes, let's just saw it. If you're not sure, if you've never heard of this page on here, it's invaluable. For commands, and I want this, I believe. Clear your screen. QCTL describe. There, that's a little better. Uh, don't worry about any of this stuff here, but what we care about is right here 50% for CPU, min one, and max of five. If we go back, look at our file for base. You'll see it's 50% CPU, 1 in 5. So everything's as we expect it. Now, when we run it in our, for our dev environment, it's going gonna, it's gonna to run this HPA YAML instead. And we should see CPU of 90 and 1 in 2. Just wanted to do that. So let's delete this. Clear, and we'll do overlay slash dev. Uh, what could be overlay slash dev? What could be wrong here? We ran the delete command. We want to create. That's better, no red. It's always good or better. You don't have red. So let's do a kubectl describe horizontal pod autoscalers. And you can see this time we have 90, 1 and 2. We're getting this because it hasn't ran for long enough. But you can see we're good here. If we do a Get. Let's see if there's some get and describe. Uh, pretty good there. One, two, and ninety. So looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. Let's go ahead and delete this one. And we'll work on prod next. All right, so let's go ahead and do go back in our overlays and go to prod. Go to our site. Go into prod and choose HPA raw. And as this one's one ten and seventy. Uh, 
and service. I notice I got node port on this one because, whoops, we want this one to be a node port. Spell it wrong. Link C U S T I M A V. Oh, my spelling slows me down more than anything. C U S T O M I Z A T I O V L. Control A, back to here, paste. All right. So do we? Do we still have old one? The old the uh, dev arounds. No, nope, there we go. We delete it right there. So okay. So let's do a clear. Let's go back. And I should have a crate in here. Change this from dev to prod. All right. Let's check our service out first. QCTL get service. And notice we have a node port, which is what we wanted, which is good. Now, what's the command to see if you have an endpoint attached to your service? If you know the answer, you're you might be ready for the exam. If you're not, if you don't know the answer, I hate to be fair bad news, but you're not ready for the exam yet. Here we go. Endpoints right here. So we're looking pretty good. And let's just check our QCTL get HP our scaling. And we're at 70%, which is what we expected, and one to ten pods for prod. So pretty good. So this answers the question. This is kind of more of a combination lab and test question. It would have been pretty hard if it was a pure test question because it would have been hard to understand what I wanted. But this should, the last two, 15 and 17, should give you a pretty good prep for customize and uh, doing uh, deployment, single deployment for multiple YAML files. So uh, thanks for watching and to the next video.